to Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodham. Oh, no, there we have John Landowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty tired, but I'm pretty good. It's been a <laughs> while since I've done back-to-back -back home games and back-to-back -back days. Yeah. I haven't done it in over 20 months. No, there's still rust for me in places I didn't know I had rust. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to some of this stuff, um, you know, I mean, it's it is what it is. But the Admirals took on okay, the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Iowa Wild for the second day in a row. Um, the Admirals um, coming into this game yesterday really fought for the yesterday's win. Yeah, they did. And the one thing I've been preaching is give yourself a lead. That When you give yourself a lead, that gives you a chance to let youth develop. Right. Because if you give yourself a lead, you get, you're get you more prone to putting the youth out there to go, okay, here's your opportunity. Add to it. Right. Well, put this away. Show you have killer instinct. Right. And that's where that all comes in. Um, the Admirals outshot them 34 to 25. The Admirals have been doing very well in that department in particular. Um, the one part the department we really got to be more careful on is staying out of the penalty box. Yeah, I really agree there. It seems every time we get any kind of momentum, we take a penalty. Um, and, and it was kind of weird today as well because, you know, it, it was almost like by the time the third period came around, Iowa was just like, let's go home. <laughs> I'm sick of these people. Our fans had been um, there was a group of uh, uh, of uh, um, the uh, Admirals had a group there of uh, as a youth Jewish youth hockey. Okay. And um, Um, they were chanting at Iowa from the moment the puck dropped to the moment the game ended. Iowa, you stink. Get off the rink. Ah. Uh, so it, it, they st they kept it going, and or it was a get off the rink. Iowa really stinks. It was something like that. You know? Yeah. And it was just, you know, and then you had, um, I sit in the chat section for us, and we were doing our own thing. Um, you know, normally harassing Joe Hicketts of Iowa. <laughs> um, it is a common known fact that me and John do not like Joe Hicketts. <laughs> yeah. I just don't like his style of play. <sighs> if you're going to be that kind of player, you got to drop the gloves when that time comes and he doesn't. All right. Um. So in the first period, the Admirals came out right away swinging. Right, they did. And Michael McCarron scores his third of the year right off the jump with an assist from Cole Smith, his sixth, and Matthew, whoa, Olivier, <laughs> <laughs> his second. Um, it was good to see McCarron back on the score sheet. McCarron doing what he does best, getting to the net. Yeah. Um, then we had... Uh, Shortly after that, uh, Turner Ottenbright, who yesterday kind of got McCarron's goat. Right. He got him into a penalty at the end of the game, which basically took him out of the overtime. Um, McCarron took exception to that. And the first chance they had, it was time to get it on. Right. <laughs> um, uh, from uh, what I saw, McCarron got the uh, punch, the takedown. He got the W in the fight. 
Right. Um, then a young player in Grant Mismash gives us a 2-0 lead. Grant Mishmash with his third goal of the season with an assist from Jeremy Davies and Matt Tennyson. Matt Tennyson's on a three-game assist streak. Um, as a defenseman, that's kind of where you want to be, but um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, then the uh, Wild uh, answered back because we got into a bit of penalty trouble. Um, right. And Marco Rossi scores his fourth with an assist from Kalen Addison and Adam Beckman. Uh, Addison and Beckman's seventh, Rossi's fourth. But that was on the power play. That was the lone power play goal of the game. The Iowa Wild were one and three, or one, four, three on the power play, and the Admirals were up for one. So Iowa did a good job staying out of the box. We did yeah. not. But we did, our penalty kill did do a little better. Um, and then Adam Beckman scores at the 1909 mark of the first with an assist from Kyle Rao, Rao's 11th. Um, in the second period, da -na -na, da -na -na, it's Mr. ESPN himself, Mr. Spinorama, the Grim yeah. Reaper, Rocco Grimaldi. Rocco Grimaldi with his eighth of the season already with the average. Right. With an assist from Grant Mishmash, his second point of the game. So multi-point game for Grant Mishmash. Um, and Cody Glass, his 15th, the assist king for this team, it seems like. Um, and then to put the game away was Cole Schneider with an assist, with his eighth, with an assist from Jeremy Davies and Graham Knott. Admirals pick up a win, four to two. Um, they also, also got their fourth, fourth win in a row. The boys are back. Yep. We said we just got to string some together. Keep it going. We play Iowa on Tuesday. Right. Um, in that for the Iowa Wild was Derek Barabo. In that for the Admirals was Cotter Ingram. Barabo stopped 30 of 34 with a same percentage of uh, 0.88. Two. Uh, Connor Ingram stopped uh, 23 of 25 with a same percentage of 0 0.920. Um, Connor Ingram's best game came against the uh, best games have come against the Iowa Wild. Except for that one. That one wasn't that good. <laughs> we all have our moments. Um, but the Admirals pick up that win. It helps us move along. Um, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay, my internet has the red light of doom, so hopefully we can continue the podcast. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Sorry, folks. Sometimes, yeah, sorry. Sometimes technical errors do happen, but uh, just let me know when you're done. I I just hope we can stay connected. All righty. So on to our next game. So hopefully, me and John can stay into this video so that we can get it done. <laughs> sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. <laughs> um. The Everblades took on the Norfolk Admirals. Um, uh, they're uh, part of a back-to-back. -back. Um, the Everblades outshot the Norfolk Admirals 42-17. to 17. In the first period, they only outshot them 7-6. to six. In the second period, it was 18-8. to eight. In the third period, it was 17-3. to three. In the first period, scoring was... John, Mr. Everblade, mm -hmm. our captain, McCarran. Yep. With an assist from Jake McLaughlin and mighty Joe Pendenza. Then 
Scoring in the second was Joe Pedeza with an assist from Blake Winicky. And scoring also in the second was Jake Yerminko with an assist from Ben Masala and Joe Pedenza. In the third period on the power play, also the last goal was also scored on the power play. On the power play was Alex Alardi with an assist from Zach Stolo and John McCarron. <laughs> All righty. They played at the Norfolk Scope. All righty. Um, in net for the Avalanche was Cam Johnson stopping 17 to 17. In net for uh, the Norfolk Admirals was. <sighs> Back warm. Back warm stopped at 38 of 42. Um, in this game, uh, there was a guy, I believe it to be, hang on, I got to. Sorry, folks, I'm having a bit of technical issues myself here. Please give me a second. All right, got our situation here fixed. John got his internet fixed. I got my internet fixed. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Good old days of using fiber optics. Right. Um, the uh, big question here is, is Noah Corson going to be suspended for a boarding major and a game misconduct? Right. Um, this Norfolk team is the feeder team to the Chicago Wolves and the Carolina Hurricanes. So, yeah. None of this ever stays the same. Yeah, the ECHL moves teams around more than anything I know. All righty. So, folks, um, we will be back tomorrow with the Preds. And that is it. That is our solo video tomorrow. Um, the time frame on that is pending either A, the game, or B, if we decide to go out and do some holiday stuff. Because we do have some holiday photo shoots to get done. Yeah. So, uh, and we're running out of time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we will see you guys tomorrow at some point. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget that our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414. 8007585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. You thank you for watching for Dan and John and all of us at From Milwaukee to Nashville and wishing you a happy holidays.